So we enable consumer electronics and we help you maximize revenue by allowing you to differentiate yourselves from the competition. You can increase revenue. You don't have to increase your, bill, your hardware bill of materials. Um, we think it can help you sell products. Now you may be asking yourself, why is this guy hung out with Cher, Carlos Santana, and Grateful Dead, hanging out with these computer people, hanging out with the semiconductor people? What is he doing here? Why isn't he up on stage with, you know, living the dream? Well, the truth is, eventually everything goes to handheld. You know, the stage ends up getting broadcast someplace where somebody's listening to it on headphones. And you can only do so many concerts, and it's really hard work. So we're, we decided the way to get our sound to more people was to uh, merge with a company that could produce on the promise. And we had uh, quite a few partnerships with various other companies that could not produce uh, what ARC can produce. ARC has um, superior technology. It's efficient. It is um, native 32-bit, which is unusual. 32-bit is very, very necessary for some of the things we do. Less necessary for other things, and I won't go into the details. Uh, but, but the 32-bit dynamic range solution compared to an industry standard of 16-bit, we've been using 16-bit solutions with other, uh, other folks. and. Um, uh, they, uh, the battery life was bad, uh, they didn't sound so good, we couldn't do our magic in 16. So we went to an ARC processor and, and Carl talked to me and said, hey, you know, we should do more of this. And uh, he's good. He's very good. So he convinced me that we needed to partner up um, so that you could have uh, what we have on a, on a handheld. Uh, and, and that's good because my goal in 95 was better digital audio for you, the listener. And not for me. I listen to tape in the studio. What do I but you, you can't do that. You don't have the artist playing through million dollar speakers. Uh, it's not something you're going to have. Uh, if, if you do, you know, that's, that's a good thing, but most people don't, don't get that. Um, so I guess lastly, we want to announce a new product called Virtual Bass. Virtual bass is a breakthrough audio solution. It increases the apparent bass of a system. It's not the same as some of the other bass boost things that you've probably heard. Uh, we don't like some of those solutions. They make the voice sound weird. Uh, we wanted to create a, a bass solution that works with very inexpensive power amps, very small speakers, and creates the illusion of big bass, even though you don't have a speaker that can reproduce big bass. You have to go hear it. They've got a demo over there that's, that's it, it'll, it'll sell you, trust me. Um, so enhanced bass to complement clearer vocals. As I said, we don't enhance the bass and, and then have the vocals sound muddy. The voice matters, articulation matters, especially in small handheld speakers and, and small game devices. If you can't hear the voice, you're not going to be able to have a good experience. So we enhance the bass, but we don't... The bass doesn't step on the voice, let's put it that way. Um, when you hear virtual bass, you're going to think this is one killer product. So the Grateful Dead webcast from 1995 uh, to 2002. We worked seven years to create that sound that I promised the Grateful Dead that I would give them and I couldn't deliver. Um, when I say I, I'm going to do something, I do it even if it takes seven years. So Grateful Dead finally said, okay, okay. We're going to do another big webcast. Can you make this one work? And I said, yeah, well, we've been doing small webcasts, but nothing with the huge budget that we had in 95. So Alpine Valley 2002, Grateful Dead did a reunion. And uh, in August, we had 113,000 simultaneous 
users uh, of compressed audio listening in real time as, as the dead tuned up and, and then they went to an instrumental called He's Gone and set lists matter for the Grateful Dead fans. They trade them and talk about how this song goes into this song and you probably don't care, but anyway. So that webcast was presented in Sonic Focus Fidelity and that worked. We still had chatters telling us about it, but we only had a couple people, mostly that computer failure problems, uh, not audio problems. We had people telling us that it's the best sounding webcast they'd ever heard on the internet. So that reunion show was hailed uh, as, as a truly audiophile quality performance, and it was Sonic Focus powered. So we can help you sell products because your customers will hear the difference just like those fans heard the difference. Uh, with Sonic Focus, you don't have to compromise. You get the portability that digital provides and the high audio quality that your customers demand. Uh, don't take my word for it. Go and listen to the demo. Grateful Dead, Carlos Santana, Intel, Asus Tech, Samsung, Analog Devices, Hewlett Packard, and many others have uh, licensed our products. We hope you will too. Thank you. <laughs>